So my name is Pat Burkett, and I'm a physics professor. And for most of my research career, I have done research at accelerators, trying to understand the universe on the very smallest scales. What are the fundamental particles and how do they interact? More recently, I've turned my research to the universe on the largest scale, the universe, cosmology. What makes up the universe and how does it behave? What I'm going to tell you about today is a discovery, a very unexpected discovery that was made in the late 1990s and it led to the Nobel Prize in Physics this year, in 2011. So we are going to go through an explanation that you are going to understand so that you can explain to anyone else what the Nobel Prize in Physics was given to for this year. Okay, so we're going to use an analogy and at first it might seem very simplistic but it's actually a very good analogy for this unexpected discovery. Imagine that we are immersed in a giant bunch of rising bread dough. Okay, so the bread dough is bigger than this universe, bigger than this uh, room. Uh, in fact, it could be infinite in size. In this bread dough are embedded raisins. I am one of the raisins. Okay, and the raisins are on average about an inch apart. So there's a raisin over here. This is not to scale. Okay, so a raisin over here. And we're going to imagine that the, raise, that the bread dough is rising at a rate such that in every dimension it doubles in one hour. So it doubles in this dimension in an hour, this dimension in an hour, and this dimension in an hour. So let's go back to uh, my raisin over here. If it starts off one inch away from me, after one hour, how far away is it from me? <laughs> two inches. So how far did it move? One inch. It moved from one inch to two inches. So one inch in one hour. So what was its average speed? one inch per hour. So I see this raisin moving away from me at one inch an hour. Imagine there was a raisin 10 inches away. After one hour, how far away is it? 20 inches, so how far did it move? 10 inches in one hour, so its average speed was 10 inches per hour. So now you know that if I saw a raisin 100 inches away, what speed would it look like it was moving away from me? 100 inches per hour. And it doesn't matter if I look for at raisins over there or over there or anywhere. All the raisins are moving away from me at a speed that is proportional to the distance from me. And so I think I am a very special raisin, right? Because they're all moving away from me. But imagine another raisin over here. What does that raisin see? The same thing. So every raisin sees the same thing, that all the raisins are moving away from it at a speed that's proportional to the distance from it, okay? Now, what has this got to do with the universe? Back in 1929, a physicist discovered that space itself is expanding, just like the universe, like the dough is in my analogy. Who was that person? No, not Einstein. For, for once, Einstein's not the answer. This expansion of the universe, it was Edwin Hubble, okay? And so he wasn't observing raisins, he was observing galaxies. And by looking at the redshift, he discovered that the galaxies are moving away from us, or they appear to be, at a speed that's proportional to the distance from us, okay? And so he realized that this meant that space itself was expanding. So it's not that the galaxies are moving through space away from us, just like the raisins. Are the raisins moving through the dough? No, it's the rising dough that's carrying them away from us. So the expanding space is carrying these galaxies away from us. Now, back to my analogy with the raisins. Imagine that the raisins were all attracted to each other, okay? Just like the galaxies are attracted to each other. The galaxies are attracted to each other through which force? Gravity. The gravity, gravitational force. So imagine that the raisins are all attracted to each other. They are embedded in this bread dough. The dough is going to start to sluggishly rise because all these um, raisins embedded in them are trying to keep close together while the dough is dragging them apart, okay? So even with the universe, once it was discovered that space was expanding, it was realized that the expansion of space will slow down because the galaxies are all attracting each other and inhibiting that expansion. So in the 1990s, some scientists set out to measure the rate at which the expansion of space is slowing down. In 1998, two different groups published their results and they found that the expansion of space was not slowing down but in fact was speeding up. That was the unexpected discovery. That in fact for the last half of the age of the universe, do you know how old the universe is? 
Yes, good, about 13.7 billion years old. So about half the age of the universe, the, la the, the most recent half, the expansion of space has not been slowing down. It slowed down for the first half, roughly. Last half, it's been increasing, okay? So the expansion is increasing with each passing second. Do we understand why? No. This was completely unexpected. We don't have any good theoretical explanation for why this is happening. Ultimately, it affects the destiny of the universe, okay? Will we the universe just keep expanding, expanding forever, and eventually our galaxy becomes an isolated island in the universe? Will it, the expansion accelerate to such a rate that it even rips the galaxies apart and eventually the atoms apart, and there is nothing complex in the universe? Now, this is a really hard question to answer. We have to make much more precise measurements than we have so far. We will not have answered these questions by the time you graduate from high school. We are unlikely to have satisfied or answered them by the time you graduate from college. So this question and many other mysteries of the universe are out there ready for you to tackle if you have an interest in science. And you can also do something like go to college, explore these amazing questions about the universe like this, along the way pick up technical skills, and afterwards continue studying the universe, or go on and apply your technical skills to solving some of the big problems in humanity that you are hearing about today. Thank you.